Emotional intelligence is super important for engineers because engineers typically lack that emotional intelligence. So they don't really know how they're feeling and they don't really know how to relate to others, how to read the room. They typically lack these skills. We do. I definitely used to. I can really empathize with people that are unaware of things. And I've seen a lack of emotional intelligence in many of the offices that I've worked at in my career. What does emotional intelligence consist of? Well, you have self-awareness. So you're aware of your own emotions and then you get into self-regulation. So you're regulating your emotions in a healthy way. So you're not suppressing things and you're not puffing them up and blowing them out. And then you have empathy. So feeling as another feels and motivation. And you want to have intrinsic motivators as you move through your career and get further up. So why should engineers care about this? Because you want to not be deaf when it comes to communicating. Emotional intelligence will help you regulate your emotions so you're better at public speaking. You're better at relating to people. You're better at playing the political game. So getting promoted and understanding what you need to do at work in terms of really regulating expectations, as well as fitting in better with your group or knowing who to trust and who not to trust. So emotional intelligence is an incredibly powerful tool and it will make you sharper on a lot of the non-technical aspects of work life. And I don't like to say soft skills. I'm not a big fan of calling them soft skills because I actually think that emotional intelligence and social intelligence, so EQ and SQ, actually matter quite a bit more than your technical skills as you move up a technical organization. This is why in many of my other videos, I actually go over why I think AI is not going to really get rid of all of the engineering jobs, but the ones that will persist are the ones that you have high EQ and high SQ humans running all the tooling. So there's still gonna be people around and I want you to be one of the people that's still around after these AI tools have a massive culling of all the lower level positions. So the higher EQ and SQ people are the ones that are gonna be trusted and higher output because they know how to get more done in the same amount of time. And that's what I want for you. And mastering that EQ is the first step. You should click on the link below and join my Discord. There's a whole bunch of us in there that are pushing ourselves to be more emotionally intelligent and get more done in the office. I hope you're ready to take the plunge for emotional intelligence now. I have an entire playlist for you to get started up here. Or if you're already an EQ rock star, you can move on to social intelligence at this playlist down here. Or you can keep doing what you're doing and getting the results that you've been getting.